Inverter module, IPM protection. Compressor rotor position error. Malfunction conditions. When the voltage signal IPM sends to compressor drive chip is abnormal or the compressor feedback signal is abnormal, the display LED will show P0 or P4 and AC will turn off. The failure may be caused by wiring mistake, faulty IPM board, faulty outdoor fan assembly, AC motor only, compressor malfunction and faulty outdoor PCB. If P0 shows when the unit is just powered on or in standby mode, change the IPM board or outdoor PCB. If P0 or P4 shows while the unit is running, follow the procedure to check and find out the solution. IPM check. Measure the resistance between N and UVW and between P and UVW. The normal value should be several mega ohms should be infinite and each two values are equal. Or we can check the conductivity between P to UVW and N to UVW. The positive conductivity UVW to P, N to UVW should be some value and the negative conductivity P to UVW, UVW to N should be infinite. If the values are abnormal, replace the IPM board or main PCB. For other PCB board, please refer to the instructions for IPM check. Check whether the power voltage is normal. Restart the unit when the power supply gets normal. Measure whether outdoor terminal voltage is normal. If the value is not equal to power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of power wires is correct. Measure whether the voltage between L and N is normal. If the value is not equal to power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of L and N is correct. Measure whether input voltage of bridge rectifier is normal. If the value is not equal to power supply voltage, check whether the wiring of bridge rectifier is correct. Wiring is correct. Measure whether the voltage between P and N is normal. For normal value, please refer to the table. Measure whether positive and negative conductivity of the plus and minus pole between 2 or 3 AC are normally responding. The positive conductivity should be some value and the negative conductivity should be infinite. If positive and negative conductivity of one diode are both zero or infinite, bridge rectifier is abnormal. If bridge rectifier is abnormal, 
replace it or IPM board or main PCB. If the error still exists, check the wiring of the reactor or the inductance. If the wiring is correct, measure the resistance value of the reactor or the inductance. If the reactor or inductance is normal, the value is below 1 ohm. If the value is abnormal, replace reactor or inductance. If the value is normal, replace the IPM board. If the value is normal, check whether the connecting wire between main PCB and IPM board is connected correctly. Check whether the connecting wire of the compressor is connected correctly. Check the EEV, electrical expansion valve, if the unit has one. Measure the resistance to check if there is any short circuit. If yes, replace the coil of EEV. Measure the output voltage to the EEV. The values should be same as the table. If not, replace the outdoor PCB. Check if the outdoor unit ventilation is good and make sure the outdoor unit ventilates well. If ventilation is good, Check whether the outdoor fan runs properly, AC fan only. Check the fan capacitor to verify the capacity value is same as the specification. If fan is normal, replace the IPM board. If the error still exists, replace the outdoor main PCB. If the error still exists, check the compressor. Measure the resistance of compressor terminal. The normal resistance valve of each two terminal is equal. If the resistance is not equal, replace the compressor or the whole outdoor unit. If the error still exists, check whether the refrigerant system is okay. Find out the cause and solve troubles.